what's up guys i'm back with another video and i'm hope that all you are good and fine having fun in this corona pandemic situation although it's really uh, funny to say having fun in corona pandemic situation whatever so uh, today i'm just facing some problem with my wordpress website i was using the extra theme and it's although um, it's a crack or theme null and uh, there are uh, i'm facing to install the extra theme to my local server or you may face this issue on your live server i don't know but uh i'm uh, getting really frustrated around uh, three to four hours now and just i'm um, find out the solution for that and i think uh, it will worth mentioning or recording the video for you to uh, fix this uh, in your case too so um although uh, uh, you are using live or local server it doesn't matter i'm just going to show you the step-by-step -step procedure how you can fix the issue so the issue was that uh, whenever i try to access my wordpress uh, with local host or whatever your um, address is it's just uh, giving me the fatal error and it's telling me some error code and debugging information to fix the issue and i just find out the uh, some issue whenever i uh, whenever i do that let me show you uh, if i go to my plugin or uh, themes and whenever i just uh, install these two things uh, extra and extra uh, child like delete this let's try so whenever i just delete them and uh, refresh the website and uh, just a second just working fine but whenever i just uh, redo all the things uh, like go on themes and just I'm going to undo the delete and then refreshing the site will giving me this issue so all the issue is actually uh, having with my theme so I just find it out and uh, if you having the same kind of fatal issue uh, fatal error or things like that in your wordpress site uh, i just going to show you how you can fix this easily so if you are using a local or live server it doesn't matter so first of all i'm going to show you how you can access uh, 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 your cpanel so uh, whatever address you are using right now like let me show you it could be something like uh, uh, rush studio dot xyz uh, although my salary is down now so just you need to go on this uh, on your url and just uh, after the slash you just need to type here c panel like that and just you'll uh, uh, get a window like let me show you on google uh, how it going to see c panel so you will end up with something like that uh, if you type this cpanel uh, on your website and after entering your username and password here uh, you will end up with something like that so this is actually cpanel file manager so you need to go uh, actually uh, uh, let me show you uh, so you will end up with something like this kind of window and uh, this is actually your cpanel which should look like and what you need to do is go on this option called files and you will find here file manager if you click it you will uh, end up with this screen and uh, not like this screen let me refresh the window uh, we'll end up with something like that so what you need to do is then is go on public.html and you will find here um, wp content and rather than then everything is just fine uh, what i'm going to show you in my uh, 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 jump server or the local server local host after i'm showing you everything is just fine whatever i'm going to do it just need to do same thing like that so uh, after you go here you will need to go on your uh, whatever say it uh, plugins and whenever you go here you should see a plugin uh, name called uh, et core plugin if you're using explore uh, xstore it should be here so what you need to do if you find here just double click it like that um, uh, think like this is the et plugin so if you click here you'll go right here and you will find here the file called config and you need to click here 
and uh, after going here you see the post type php you need to download this file to your desktop to edit this so what you need to do is like if you want to download something here just click it and you will find an option called download just click here and you should uh, end up with downloading the file so i'm not downloading because i'm using my local server i'm not want i don't want to mess up with my server you know so uh, for uh, safety purpose i'm just using my local server so uh, so whenever you go on your config file you will find a file called uh, post type so whenever you uh, uh, st uh, finish the downloading file what you need to do is then uh, open up your visual studio or if you don't have the visual studio installed in your computer uh, you need to you should you can also use notepad too but uh, it's better to use visual studio uh, so if you not install the visual studio code i have given a link in the description to uh, direct download page of this visual studio for mac os or whatever user operating system you're using it's available for that and just you need to open the software and you need to install uh, one uh, extension if you are really new like you just install it for first time but if you're using i think you have already installed the php it's called php just search here go on this tab and search here php so you just need to install the php like this and this and just it's uh, going to end up within seconds and sometimes takes some time it's like it's taking my 10 to uh, 12 seconds so after then that uh, you need to do is actually find this file post type the php then you need to paste it in your bs studio code and you will end up with this uh, lines of lines of code uh, in your visual studio uh, so uh, so let's uh, go on the issue we have find uh, on your server so i'm going to show you step by step how can fix similar issues too so whatever you are seeing like there is a fatal error and it's telling me that uncaught value error like there is a defined in a uh, line 23 line 23 is defining that uh, there is a value that is not uh, defined so let's go on line 23 and uh, where is line 23 this is the line 23 uh, there is a value called a you see a and we also see that there is value called percentage a and if you look around these things they are all the values are as percentage as so it's uh it's actually common sense that if all things are s it should be s right so it's not s so this giving me error that the unformatted specifier is a detector so what you need to do is actually change this uh, to s and after you uh, change this to s you need to do is go on files and just save and if you refresh the window oh uh, we have another similar kind of different uh, issue it's not the, in the same line My, our previous one is fixed now you can see it's line 2270 it was previously 23 and the same issue is there is also a so let's go on line tw uh, 270 uh, it should be right here uh, we can find this line 270 like that and uh, if we scroll here there is the same thing like look there is s s and is certainly uh, going to the a so just change it to s2 and after then that you can use also the shortcut to saving it like you can uh, just press ctrl and s or command s on if you're using mac so let's refresh the window boom we have just fixed the issue and that's it uh, if you are using the local server that's it but if you're not using the local server uh, i just need to uh, go on this uh, on the config dot uh, the post type that i have just uh, downloaded uh, what you need to do is actually uh, you need to upload the file here if you are using the post file you need to delete the previous post type uh, file and just replace it with this uh, new post type uh, php uh, let let do another thing i just going to paste this file or uh, in the description so you can download directly and just get rid of all the things i have done just you need to do is actually uh, download the this file from my description like let me copy this file for you uh, i'm just going to download it for you I have just uh, I just wanted to do is actually uh, go here and just click on upload and select the file you want to upload and just it will down uh, upload automatically like click on select and uh, up select the file you just need to upload like there is uh, should be the P uh, what it's called 
it should be right here so let's type in uh, post the post dot type dot php just then open so i'm not going to do this because it's my own server and don't, don't want to go uh, mess with up my servers and that's it if you've done this you should end up with a screen like that and all things should work as usual so let's try and uh, visit my uh, website localhost uh, my server is just going okay totally fine so just this is how you can fix the issue um, and I hope that you enjoyed the video and that's it I hope you are well and you will be and thanks for watching and if you really like the video hit the thumbs up and if you dislike the dislike button works for me too but I'll hope that I'll make more better video for that so thank you for everything goodbye